teach. I hear you were able to use the sword of a creator. That means... What does that mean? How are you managing the sword of the creator? No problems? Uh. I hope you have not left it lying somewhere unattended or anything foolish like that. I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard. Why? But now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. No, it, it's on me. I have kept it hidden all this time, but I will reveal to you the power of my second crest. It is the same as yours. I'm not setting a very good example. Welcome to Failure Emblem, everyone. May I introduce Priest Edelgard? As expected. We're going to get right into the fights for this month. We're not going to show a lot of them, and that's because once these units hit Authority Rank C, this happens. Yeah. We're just such unstoppable killing machines for these fights, they're not super exciting. If you're interested in what the rules are for this run, you can check out the trailer at the link on your screen. But just enjoy this little show for now. Ferdinand truly does not hold back. Caspar has finally done something right in his classes at Hogwarts. This third battle was a little harder, but still, this happened. When you get good enough battalions, it's just very difficult for the enemies to put up a fight. As our reward for grinding, we get Brigand Hubert, whose stats had been truly terrible, so those class boosts are really good. In contrast, we have Brigand Linhart, and he only gets the well HP done, boost. Me. His leveling in strength had been amazing. This is harder than expected. All right. During the month, we did recruit a few new commoner friends. Uh, so we have Ash, Mercedes, Raphael, and Leone that joined the team. We'll get into how they're going to contribute later when we might actually deploy them, but for now, they're commoner adjutants because they can't get into a real class with their weaknesses yet. Stay focused. All right. Now we need to get into this battle, draw out some of the thieves here with Silith, the unstoppable killing machine, and move everyone up. No hesitation. Live it up to his title. That is that. Here comes Gilbert. And let's see, how do we handle this? Can Dorothea take this one out? Uh, not quite with the Iron Lance. Steel Lance will do it. All roses have thorns. And she doesn't quite level up to 10. Okay. Now, what is our next move? We can start drawing the archers and maybe take a couple of them out with Ferdinand because he has the chalice. Okay, so here's the first Captain reinforcement wave. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. Yeah, I got it. Gilbert's taking a lot more physical damage than you'd think he would. That was nothing. Yeah. Okay, good dodge from Ferdinand and good dodge from the enemy, I suppose. Gilbert actually hit, which is a surprise. 
So, looks like Gilbert is on the break of death. We'll see if we can prevent that for any length of time here. So so. Showing off Priest Edelgard's skills. Okay, Ferdinand can try to make more progress here. He can pretty easily dodge counterattacks. Not so fast. Okay, so that trade worked out. And now Hubert, he still has very high magic defense. He can draw out this mage. Uh, Yuri can go back and join Team Edelgard to fend off this reinforcement wave. He also has a C Battalion, uh, the Immortal Corps, so he can actually disable a good amount of these. Works out. Move up. Draw this unit out. Good dodge. Okay. I'm no Good job, Gilbert. This is my duty. Two kills for Gilbert. Edelgard leaves that one at one. Oh dear. Our efforts to save Gilbert may have been in vain. Yeah, there he goes. I have yet to be forgiven. For now, and he's I must out. Retreat. Well, we never needed him in the first place. Appreciate it. And the goon squad starts coming for us. All right. Now Dorothea can hopefully get those last five experience points she needs. Weak. Or not. Okay. Uh, all right. Can Edelgard take this one out on her lonesome? Not quite. Maybe with... Tempest Lance? Good enough. Your defeat was inevitable. Okay, and I guess Yuri has to get this one. Let's have him come around to stay out of danger. And punching's more accurate. Let's go. Not too shabby. Uh, no, good enough to level. Now that feels good. It shouldn't. It's not good. Okay, who's up next? Probably Linhart can draw this guy out. So let's move him up to start that particular fight. And then Silith can soften this mage up so someone can get some experience. You can take the hit well enough. Okay, not great, not terrible. Now who can finish this? Can Hubert do it and get the XP boost? Yes. It's finally strong enough to deal relevant damage. Okay, Ferdinand. Probably doesn't want to draw that many hits at once. So maybe we just keep him in the range of two. And that'll be fine. Yeah, his dodge is really high. So let's do that. Okay, not a great exchange. And there... Still coming for us. Good dodge again. Another 12 damage. Appreciate. Never mind. Okay. So we need Petra to bail out Linhart over here. Can't double against these enemies. 
Yeah. So, uh, pretty solid. Linhart can probably finish this off now. So how can he do it? The axe is given a 76% chance to hit. Uh, let's see if we can get more accurate. A smash that gets to 96. Uh, we can also rushing blow for 100, uh, but it won't kill. 97 with this. That's good. Yes, I have to. Y you did have to. It was our best option. You didn't have to do it that well. Improving. A little bit, yeah. You're doing real well with the strength boost. Okay. So now we just need that group to move up. Ferdinand can probably keep working down these archers. Okay. It's that same 12 down and dodges again. Sisyphus Ferdinand. Okay, this group continues to charge forward. Oh, looks like they made some new friends. Okay, good dodge again. Oh, we might actually kill something. This can't be right. No, it's on brand. Don't worry, Ferdy. Okay, didn't undo all our progress that time. Okay, so Silith will draw out these reinforcements by going over here, hopefully. So get the melee weapon ready. And then keep these three a reasonable distance away. Okay, so just hold on, you three. Everyone else, move up. Ferdinand, try to take this one out. Okay, got you there. You should be honored. Okay, here, here are we the go. sword Attack reinforcements. Them from both sides. It's an ambush. And we have more coming from this side. And this is a big group. Okay, so we draw this one. Good exchange. That one we didn't draw out with Silith, apparently. So Bernie's gonna tank a hit. Okay, so Edelgard and crew are probably going to have to turn around for a second. Ferdinand loses his full health bonus, but still dodges the second attack, and not the first. Okay, so let's start with Ferdinand. Can he take out this mage with the steel bow? He can, so let's do that. You are not. Okay. Now we have this group to try and deal with some of these units. Let's have Caspar kick things off. Or just As you be wish. totally useless. Um, Alright, what can you do, Hubert? Okay, he has a Killer Axe Plus. Helm Splitter doesn't quite get us a very good crit chance. Uh... Smashing with the Steel Axe won't quite do it. 51% um, crit chance, though. That's a good coin flip that fails. So instead, we leave Hubert at three. This is harder than expected. Well, he got a strength boost, so that's actually decent. Bernie's got to finish this one. Okay. Anywhere I can hide. No, Bernie, we need you out in the open. What did I expect? Y you should have seen that coming, frankly. Okay, think Silith can block 
this next wave from getting to vulnerable Hubert. And we've got quite the swarm of enemies coming. Well, that one's not a problem anymore. No hesitation. Two in a row. It's like they never existed. Now we have the swarm over there. Averguard successfully avoids the one in five. Hey, Meh, Yuri does well enough. Now we got some more enemies. That's my shield. So this crew we can start with. We got some good gambit boosts we can rely on. So let's I start with an assembly on these I two. Okay, 85, good enough. Gets us to level 10. Growth is a part and of life. And studiously avoiding strength boosts for Soldier Dorothea. Sure thing. Okay, so up next, let's have Yuri just punch this one out. Now it's weakened. Face it, I'm better than you. I wouldn't go bragging too much. Now, I am let's Ferdinand see. Von Ferdinand will actually contribute to a meaningful fight. Maybe. Yeah, just shooting with the mini bow seems good enough. I will not hold back. No, oh, now you decide to crit. The mark of nobility. I'll take it. I'll take it. You're in good form. And Edelgard can go mess with these mages. We did learn that she can kill them, hit, but we just need the training lance here. She apparently takes no damage from magic, which I like. Now, up here, this is a lot, even for unstoppable killing machine Silas, so let's have him run away and draw them into a more clumped up position. Okay, so I think we can have maybe Bernie draw one out. Yeah, she'll only get attacked by one of them in this position. And so she can get some more experience uh, and get them into a vulnerable position outside of the rest of the group. Good enough to tank it, but she's at pretty low HP now. Let's see, where does that put the rest of these units? Have a... ah, victory is assured. Over here we have Ferdinand yeah. styling on some mages. You are not. This can't be right. Excellent. That should do oh. it. Mercedes ha learns how to have HP. Again, avoids the one in five. We have a worrisome archer over here. So, how do we approach all of this? We have two very vulnerable units in Bernie and Hubert. Let's just get some crowd control going with the wave attack. Yeah, it'll hit a good number of them. Okay, we only got two of those, so I hope that's enough. Okay, Edelgard can just kite this because she takes no damage. Um, yeah, so it'll just follow her for a minute. Back up here, we have this one that'll try to gambit Silith, and I don't think anything else uh, will be able to hit us. So we have to kill this one that isn't frozen straight away, so 
Soften it up, Winheart. Okay. Now, how can we approach this? Hubert can maybe off it in one shot. Let's check out the weapon. Steel Axe won't quite do it, so we need a combat art. I think a Wrath Strike with the Steel Sword will exactly get there. You worked hard for nothing. Okay, worked out. And now it's a bit easier. Don't really want anyone to get targeted by that knight except Silent, so let's have Caspar fire away. That's why I train. Time to set my aims even higher. That magic plus two will probably be really important. Okay. Now, we once again build up a massive crowd. Let's think carefully. And Silas Floyd's 25%. That could have been really bad. Gotta use your head sometimes. Okay. <sighs> Bow hit. Whatever. Poison strike is the real danger from them. So we'll need some crowd control here again. I do hope we won't need any more. This is the last one. So let's do it. Hits a good amount of them and kills this archer. It's so. time. Here it comes. Alright. Worked. So that'll simplify things substantially. There are still some units active. Uh, so let's see what we can do about them. Caspar should be able to deal a good amount of damage to this armor knight takes it to exactly one. Would have preferred a kill there, but it is Caspar. I'm just getting started. Started with what? Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Linhart, what do you have to do? I think if we fading blow there, that'll finish it and keep Linhart I'd out be of nice. the way of everyone else. Okay. So Hubert will die what? if he gets attacked. So we have to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh no. So Bernie will live through an attack. So she can finish this uh up here. Dead. Hope this okay, so she'll live through the bow strike. Oh dear. Will she. She's 19. I think she'll live Let's now. Maybe avoid that. Ferdinand once again gets in a bow duel. Gets hit this time. That's not great. Regal Guard kites this one, but responds with no Sparatu. Linhart takes that, so he's now kind of vulnerable too. Okay. Bernie going down to one. Alright. Back up here, we are now out of the big wave attacks. So, gotta get something done here. Uh, okay, so... Magic gives us a limited number of useful options out of Caspar. Get this one out of the way. That will help. So Hubert now can get a big gambit boost and take a lot of these out of the fight. Great pain awaits you. For Lady okay. Edelgard. Hit with the fuselage there. So that helps substantially. There are still a number of units that can still act and move. So we really need to get rid of them. We have this archer. We have that warrior over there. 
<sighs> okay, Linhart, what can you do? What can you do? Okay. So, if we hit with a fading blow here... Okay, it worked, so Linhart will move back. And then that will give Petra I will get the, the opportunity to group flames this little group and prevent them from moving. I will use the so our mages team up, our extremely powerful mages, and oh. Oh no. Do we have a backup plan here? I guess our backup plan is to prevent this one from Not attacking. Uh, Ferdy. Ferdy, can you bail us out? Uh, got a curved shot we can use. Uh, you can take out this archer with it. So let's do that. You are not. It's Mercedes to level 10. Very important and an incredible level. Just incredible. Okay, so what does that mean? That means this warrior will try to gambit Petra, and this bow user will try to kill Bernie. Bernie! Bernie, what can we have you do? Uh, so if we have How Bernie do this... They pushed me too far! <laughs> that kills the warrior in front of her. And then we do need to make sure that that other warrior doesn't run over and get her. So it's plenty to kill Hubert, actually. Um, Stay focused. So we need to put Silith there and have him kill this. As expected. Such power well, dwells within. Got some more magic. You are supposed to be a mage eventually. Okay, I think we're safe. Gotta do what you gotta do. Run the coin flip, that's good. Okay, good dodge and counter. You got off. Get those more of this. I will get the victory. All right, now this will be a lot simpler to deal with. Where can you do the most good? You can take that one down a lot. Oh, you can actually get a kill with Sagittarius. So let's yeah. that. Yeah. One more success. Okay. Put me in there. Three more to go from the swarm. Caspar, can you take any of them down? Bulganon will kill this one. Fried. What it makes money, right? Okay, okay. Just two more. So let's decide who should like to do this. Linhart can fire his bow to get this one down to killable range. And now, the risk. Ferdinand can soften this one up. Still unstoppable. Okay. And Hubert will power through the pain and hopefully finish this guy off. Uh, let's use a rat strike. That'll get it done. You could have at least tried. Okay. So we're down to just that one, and Hubert the Vulnerary Collector will put that away. Uh, Bernie, can you take this out? Because if you don't, you'll die. Uh, good enough. 100% hit, too. Am I done yet? Well, you're done with the Myrmidon class. Oh, I get it now. That could help. Extra speed. Okay, Edelgard will hopefully finish off that mage that's tailing her now. That <laughs> yep, got there. Failure is not an option. It's actually the whole conceit of our reality. One step at a time. Eh, speed and defense, okay. 
Okay, now we just need to move up. The last few units are archers. Uh, so we'll have Ferdinand heal himself a little bit uh, and be the one to draw them out. Probably should have switched back to the mini bow. Because Ferdinand has forgotten entirely how to dodge. Okay. Edelgard has some healing to do. Let's have Linhart take this guy out. And I didn't even enjoy it. I will prevail. Edelgard now can heal Ferdinand up from the brink of death. Back to the fresh. Everyone else can move up. Okay, got the next archer out. So Lin can go in and not quite finish the job, but that'll leave someone else able to get the kill. It's simple logic. Linhart, really? You should be the teacher, man. Okay, now what do we do? Uh, we have that Armor Knight over Stay focused. there. So let's draw him out with Silith. Yeah, put on the Lance so we can retaliate. And then we'll have the two mages go in to finish it. Okay, let's go ahead Gambit. Now, Ferdinand, we need to finish this off. 100% hit, I will take. The mark of nobility. Okay. Yuri, move on up. And then Edelgard needs to heal. Let's have her heal Hubert. Appreciate it. Now's our chance. Can we die to 30%? No. No, we cannot. Why would we do that? And do we even want to attack here? Might as well with Caspar. Can't attack back. That's more like it. That is more on brand. Okay. Probably just want to use a concoction here. For Silith, wait to tank another hit. They wasted them. They okay, managed to dodge it that time. 30 is in fact not 100. Okay. Now, what can we do? This is kind of awkward positioning in this straight hallway. Let's see if we can soften this up and give Caspar the kill. Let the lesson begin. No, instead Silent gets that? greedy. Great. Ferdinand, again, draw out an archer. Mini bow. This uh, may yet. as well rally. Oh, thank you. Heal XP because we've got 20 charges. Yeah. Back to dodging. Excellent. We have learned how to dance. Okay. Yuri, move on up. It's a lot of punches. <laughs> Who's next? Okay, now we move up and we are finally facing the heart of the swarm, Miklon. Uh, so let's rally magic on Petra. Our magic users should be able to take him out from a safe distance and turn him into a monster. You think you can take the lance from me? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you! Again, avoiding a magic boost, which is just perfect. Petra can now, I believe, finish the job with just wind. Yeah. There it goes. And he's down. Petra gets to the all-important level 10. 
for intermediate classes, and also avoids a magic boost. Okay, so now Miklon's a monster. Uh, Scyleth can safely enough take a hit, so we'll move him into range. Equip the bow so we can retaliate and move everyone else up to try and participate in that. I agree. Very good dodge. Got a little lucky there. Okay. So now we should probably crack these shields and then go nuts. So we got a really big gambit left on Edelgard. We won't hold back. So that should crack the shields open. Not quite, but put a crack in it. And now we have three shields that need one hit to go down. So we should be able to fusilade them. And we have 100% accuracy on that, so this will break down all of those shields. We have to marvel at our strategy. It's tactics, Hubert. Tactics. Okay, now we can just attack it however we'd like. And what we like is Caspar using magic. Uh, that won't work at all. So we like Caspar using a bow, right? No, we insist on Caspar. <laughs> Worth it. Yuri can come in and get a lot of punches. So that'll take out this first health bar. Styling with the crest. Didn't need to get faster, but we did. And now next, let's move up Dorothea. And she can do just enough to say she contributed. Got the class mastery. Now, Ferdinand can move up here. Fire the bow, that's not great. Eleven is a little better. Okay, I'll take the crit there, 33. Actually good level, too? That's unheard of. Now, Linhart can... No, we should move up Silent so we have more space to attack down there. And a Lance is probably a little better to attack with. Steel one. Do as much damage as we can. And then this second health bar will go down, hopefully with the next attack. So, Linhart can maybe bow it down. Well, seven. So now, the next attack should be able to take down that health bar. Can Petra Magic do it? Wind won't by default, but Sagitte will. <laughs> Unnecessary crits are still the best. Very specifically not boosting magic. Ash just blows everyone away with the quality of his level. And Bernie gets to move up. And swap with Lynn, because she's a melee fighter. Okay, now we just have one health bar to deal with. People getting counterattacks is not great, so we'll... First, use a bunch of gambits to deal as much damage as we can. You fooled yourself. So Edelgard can get in a ton of damage with the second Raging Flames. And now, who else has some gambits they can use? Bernie. Bernie, get in here, Bernie. Sixteen. Sure. Do something. Pushes it. Actually, 
actually decreasing the surface area we have available to attack. Uh, don't have a gambit left on Petra. What about... Here. Does Casper have, have one left? Does it can Caspar. Yeah, he has this all I think this will work? I do think it'll work. Did precisely what I asked for. And Raphael gets his extra HP. Okay, so Dorothea also has a gambit left. We'll work together. 13. And let's use our heads. Can think about actually attacking it. So, what do we do? What do we do? Petra. Petra. I believe. Yes. That's what we needed to see. It's Petra's magic bringing down a foul beast. And <laughs> she deserves that magic boost. It's the only one she'll ever get. Goddess, My thoughts exactly. The beast is gone, yet Miklon and the lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the lance and depart at once. Okay, we did it. And of course, Killing Machine gets it. That concludes this episode of Failure Emblem. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next installment. If you have thoughts on what other students we should recruit and deploy, or any other choices coming up later in the game, let me know in the comments or on Twitter at, at Failure Emblem. I'll see you all next time.